Let me show you how we can break down this word problem right here. Number 12, the ratio of the number of female students to the total number of students is 2 to 5. And then we know that there are 35 students in the class. And we're trying to find out how many of them are female. And this is how we are going to set up. First, we are going to pick out the keywords. And then here, the most important keyword is the word ratio. Whenever we see ratio and then we are trying to solve problem, we are going to use fraction for it. Even though sometimes you may see people put the two dots, the column for ratio, but then to use fractions for ratio, it's actually easier. But then the ratio of what though? We have to continue. The ratio of female students to the total number of students, okay? And then we know that is two to five. And you see the word two, it's also another way to represent ratio. But then once again, I will look at the two to five change that into a fraction and then the fraction will be 2 over 5. As you can see, female comes first in the sentence. That means the 2 will be associated with the female students and then the total number of students will be associated with the 5. So I can indicate the 2 right here is for female and then the 5 right here is for the total. And then if we want to set up the fraction this way, we just have to be consistent. The number on the top, it will represent the female students, and then the bottom number will represent the total number of students. All right, I would like to know, I'm going to set up, and this is called a proportion. When we have two fractions equal to each other, it's called a proportion. We know that there are 35 students, and the 35 is the total. Therefore, when we're setting up ratio for this part, we are going to write down the 35 in the denominator, just like how we did it right here. Remember, when we are setting up ratios on both sides, we must, must be consistent. The denominator stands for the total. That's why we have to put down the 35 on the denominator. So I will put down the fraction bar and then the 35. And then for the numerator, that's how many female students that we're trying to find out. So now we can look at this equation and try to figure out what the question mark will be, and that will be the answer. We have two ways to do it. Let me show you a more natural way first. We see that we have 2 over 5 on the left-hand side, and then on the right-hand side, we have question mark over 35. We will focus on the denominators. Originally, we have 5, and now we have 35. We have to ask ourselves, 5 times what will give us 35? And we know that 5 times 7 will give us 35. Therefore, we are going to do 5 times 7, that's how we can produce a 35. Likewise, we'll do the same on the top. 2 times 7, and that will give us the answer. 2 times 7, that's 14. And that will be the numerator. And this numerator will represent how many female students that we have in a class. So 14 will be the answer. And that's answer choice B right here. That's it. But then I will also like to show you a more algebra way to do this. So, same setup, earlier we have 2 over 5, it's equal to question mark over 35. But instead of question mark, let me put down x for this, over 35. So in algebra, we put down x for the unknown instead of question marks. And this is how we can do it. When we have two fractions equal to each other, we know that we can cross multiply, and then we don't have fractions anymore. Let me demonstrate. So we will do 2 times 35. Let me write it down, 2 times 35. And this will be equal to x times 5. x times 5, usually we like to write it down as 5 times x. Number goes first before variable. And then I'm just going to work this out for you. 2 times 35, that will be 70. And then this is equal to 5 times x, so that's 5x. And we want to get x by itself do that, here we have 5 times x. We have to divide both sides by 5. So that this 5 and that 5 can cancel, and then I have to work out 70 divided by 5. And the answer to that will be 14. And that's x. And in another word, we know x is equal to 14. As you can see, same answer. And once again, let me know which method do you guys like better. That's it.